Welcome to Rock Harbor and Isle Royale National Park in Michigan. In planning my trip to every national park, I ran into a little trouble on this one because most people plan like a year in advance. I was able to snag a last minute ticket on the Ranger 3 to come out here on Friday night and go back tomorrow morning. This is Isle Royale in a day. here in Rock Harbor, filled up my water and got my stamp. I have everything I need to go set up camp. I have two hikes that I wanna do. One is to a point that's this direction and the other is to a cave that's that way. I've been told to keep my eye out for seeing a moose and that is definitely my goal for being here. There's also a restaurant and I plan to get dinner tonight. I've also been told the cinnamon rolls are pretty great so I might be getting breakfast too. I'm gonna get everything wrapped up here and then head to camp. That is where we'll be tonight. All of the sites are first come first serve. I did not expect a picnic table they're not sharing shelters so they did ask that we share campsites if we need to so if all the campsites fill up i might share the space with another tent i think one of my favorite parts about all of these campsites is that they cleared the trees out above when you're picking a campsite in an unmanicured forest you want to make sure you don't have any dead limbs above you or any dead trees around it seems odd but if you were sleeping and something like that fell you wouldn't think it's odd at all so I really like this spot right here. It is close to the trail, not right next to the outhouse. And I think that might be our spot. Spot number 15 is where we're staying. This space looks really comfortable. 
I mean, as comfortable as it's gonna get. There is a little more urgency because it's raining, so I wanna get everything inside the tent so I don't have to worry about it. Also, there's no bears on the island, but they did say the squirrels are pretty pesky and you have to watch out for fox because they get used to kind of looking for food scraps. So you don't have to worry about food storage, you can leave it in your tent, but you also have to be aware that those two animals are out here and might be interested in what you have. Okay, let's get camp set up. <laughs> I tried to set up camp as fast as possible because if everything gets wet, not only will I be miserable, but it could also be dangerous. It's supposed to get down to, I think, 41 tonight, which isn't freezing, but if my sleeping bag gets wet or if the tent is wet on the inside, it'll just suck my body heat right out. So I did that really fast. The sleeping bag is in there. I didn't pull everything out yet because the tent did get a little wet, so I'm letting that kind of dry some. <sighs> My clothes to sleep in are inside and dry. My sleeping bag is dry. I'm obviously out here. I did also tuck my ground cover in so that if it does rain a lot, it should go away from the tent as opposed to going under the tent. I do need to get a new ground cover because that one's just not big enough. But that is where we're at right now. If it gets too wet, at least I have an inflatable air mattress. <laughs> I'm gonna get a snack because if I don't eat a snack right now, I'm 100% going to go straight to the restaurant. My original plan was to do one of the four mile hikes tonight and one tomorrow. I don't know if we'll make it all four miles, but we're gonna get good views no matter where we end up. I'm really just wanting to enjoy the island since I'm only here for one night, so we'll see how that goes. The restaurant closes at 7.30, we have to get dinner because they have pizza and beer and talk about enjoying the island. That is where it's at. Scoville Point is hike number one, and then hike number two is Susie's Cave. I think since it's raining and it'll probably get dark pretty fast, then I'm gonna go to Scoville Point tonight. Tomorrow morning I got, might go to Susie's Cave. I might hike that way some tonight. The rangers said that the moose are most likely going to be that way, but they've also come into like Rock Harbor Campground, so we might see them here. I really want, sorry about that bump, I was killing a mosquito. I really wanna see a moose while I'm here. So, and they said they're, and they said they're most active in the morning, so we might do Susie's Cave tomorrow morning, but we'll have to wait and see how things go. I need to be back to the harbor by eight o'clock so that I can get on the boat at nine. So I definitely would need to tear down camp before I leave for a hike, but I could also leave my pack here and come back for it on my way through. We're right here at this campground. The restaurant is right up here. There's Scoville Point and there's Susie's Cave. So I could go out to Scoville Point and then back to the restaurant, which might be exactly what happens. Now that I've had a snack, everything is tucked away. It has started to rain more, but I figured I didn't come here to stay in my tent in the rain, so I'm just gonna wing it. I think I found moose tracks. So here, I got a little suspicious. And then as we go up to this boardwalk, there's tracks next to it in the mud. 
I don't want to scare a moose. And it looks like they went that way. I know I said I wanted to see a moose, but now I'm scared. I'm gonna go this way and see what happens. I don't know, is there mud every day? Is that fresh? It looks real fresh to me. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I know it looks kind of gray, but absolutely amazing. I don't know if a specific viewpoint could get better than that. I do expect that that end point on this island would be absolutely beautiful, but this is also pretty great. I'm getting pretty soaked and I've been hungry for a while, so I'm just gonna take the same trail back and dry off a little and have dinner. I can't complain about either of those two things or this as my lookout point. I came over to the restaurant for dinner. It's a little bit of a wait for pizza, but it's worth it because I have beer. It also stopped raining and I'm starting to dry out, which is wonderful. I'm interested to see if it'll get more light. Uh, sun's not supposed to set for like three more hours. Somehow I'm here by myself. It's crazy. did finally break through but I want to head back to camp and check that out since it rained and I expect there's more people there I just want to check on everything before dark make sure nothing is too wet and then I'm good to go I might actually go to bed early and get up tomorrow and hike and look for those moose I think I heard them across the lake I won't be able to hike that far to go see them but hopefully they'll be over here this probably isn't the best time to admit that I've never camped in my tent while it's raining. It looks like I had two leaks. Right here and over here. Certainly not too bad at all, but I need to get them at least a little bit dried up before I set up my bed. Hopefully that's all the rain we'll get today. It does look nice out, so it might actually be all the rain we get. We'll see. My clothes and my sleeping bag are dry. And that's all that really matters. I think I'm just going to hang out for a little while, wind down, and go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning.
morning everyone i'm starting the day at the dock mostly because they have a really nice restroom it is about 6 30. i'm gonna walk back through camp and then go onward the sun is just starting to come out of the clouds maybe that means the moose will be out this morning um the trail that I'm going to go on heads to Susie's cave. That would be a four mile round trip and we just don't have time for that. So we're going to do as much as we want to enjoy the trail and then come back and pack up camp. It does look like there's clouds. So it makes me happy that I know even if it rains, I'm going to be on a boat in an hour and a half. I'm not gonna be able to go very much farther because I need to go back and pack up camp, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Yesterday when we were taking the boat in, I saw my first bald eagle. Luckily somebody pointed out that there was a bald eagle and everybody thinks it was a, a young eagle because it looked small. We have bald eagles, but I've just never caught one. And even at Cuyahoga last year, I had bird watchers point, say that they had seen one just minutes from where I was, but I didn't see it. So it was really cool to see one, especially to see the first one here is pretty neat. I think this is our destination for today. I opened up my can of coffee, a luxury that you have when you're only camping one night and you only have to carry your pack like a quarter of a mile. I'm gonna enjoy this view one last time and then go pack up camp. The grill I had dinner at last night has coffee and breakfast. If I get everything packed up in time, we will have hot coffee for the ride back. Talk about motivation. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna enjoy this view first. coffee and breakfast and the boat isn't even here yet. That's pretty good. I'm headed home tomorrow, so I have cinnamon rolls to take with me and a bagel and cream cheese for breakfast. This bag is pretty much all food. It is 8 a.m. and we're not gonna arrive in harbor until two or three, so I have lots of snacks. I have my national park book to fill out my log about being here while I'm on the boat. It should be good. to the island will probably quickly say that that was not nearly enough time to really explore it and honestly they're right I realize that in this journey to every national park there's gonna be some that I'm just gonna have to come back to someday and this is definitely one of them Isle Royale is the least visited national park and the most revisited national park 
So it is definitely something that I can't wait to get back to and see more of. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because there's plenty of parks to come. I'm gearing up for an extremely busy summer. My next trip is going to be to 16 national parks. I'll see you at the next one. I also have to apologize for all the green. This was not planned. I've been trying to buy more colors of clothes so that I'm not just wearing gray and navy. This is what happens. <laughs>